Hey guys, Game Bar 06 here, and back with another video. In this video, uh, I am doing another practice like I did in the last one. Uh, I am practicing bodies, um, or more specifically the torso. I do draw kind of, kind of a full body thing uh, within this video, but that's when the, the main focus is on torsos because I want to work on the shape, the shapes that I use for my torsos and uh, whatnot. So that's what we're doing here. Uh, in the next uh, video, or one of the future videos, you guys will see a redesign of my protagonist for Power Surge, uh, Huntoni Kete. If you guys are not familiar with Power Surge or uh, my protagonist, you should probably check, check out my Discord. And I have a channel for uh, the series, so uh, if, you're, if you have any interest in it, just go ahead and uh, check it out. And yeah. I already posted the uh, reference sheets um, on Twitter uh, because I have a mutual, so I just showed I showed them what I fit. I showed them it. So if you guys want to see it there, it's on Twitter. It's also all over on the discords that I interact in, uh, including my own Discord KB6 Hangout. So yeah, uh, with that out of the way, let's just get to this video. So. Yeah, as you can see, I'm just practicing torsos, like I said before, because um, when, when it comes to drawing or any art form in general for me that I do, um, which only art forms that I currently do are, well, digital, digital drawing and then animation. Sometimes I do traditional art. Um, if I'm watching a tutorial, like from Mikey Mega Mega, and I'm following along, I'll draw traditionally. But I'll try my best to uh, translate those skills to the digital playground because that's most of my art. Uh, speaking of traditional, uh, I've been drawing casually for basically my entire life. I started taking art more seriously and I started uh, uh, constantly drawing and trying to improve my own skills. In January 2019, I was in an amino. Uh, more specifically, the Naruto Amino. I saw this person did a digital, uh, did digital artwork, and they started with a traditional sketch, and then they just translated it uh, to the dig uh, to a digital drawing. I asked them how they did it. They explained. Uh, they introduced me to the concept of Ibis um, Ibis Paint X and MetaBang MetaBang Pro or MetaBang Paint. Um, I forget the name. I've used MetaBang. A couple of times uh, for the first draw the first drawing video I ever made um, I colored that all with Metabang I did the line art on Ibis Paint um, nowadays I uh, exclusively use um, Ibis Paint because it's just easier for me than that way um, so yeah uh, I think I've come a long way since the start of 2019 um, I might I mean I've redrawn a couple well not necessarily redrawn but I've um, showed my progress with uh, the Nami and Hancock drawings, um, which shows my progress from 2019 to now. Because I redrew, um, I kind of redrew those characters. Uh, I'm not gonna say I redrew the drawings themselves. I just redrew the characters um, because I wanted to see how far I've gone, uh, how far I've gotten since that point. Um, and then I redrew the 2020 art because I was doing an amino contest. Uh, speaking of the amino contest, the one that I was the one that I was mentioning, the one where I drew the Sabo and Ace, the one where I drew Margaret and Domino, the one where I drew basically everything One Piece related, all the One Piece stuff uh, for the most part was for that contest. Uh, I happened to get third in that contest out of uh, well, there were four people who submitted because I, some people didn't have the time. Uh, There's five of us initially who's gonna who are gonna submit for the top three spots. The bottom five we're gonna uh, compete for fourth and fifth. So in other words, I had a 60% chance of getting top three. Only four people submitted. My chances went from 60 to 75. I happened to get third. Um, I would I would like to get second or first, but uh, that's just how it is. So uh, the next contest I enter, hopefully. I'll be able to do better, but um, as of now, um, I hinted at what I was going uh, at, at a drawing I was going to do. I uh, hinted at it on my Twitter. I'll let you guys know it's going to take probably a lot longer than I anticipated because I just 
uh, as I was drawing it, I kind of lost the passion. I kind of lost the drive to finish it. So I'm just going to finish it whenever like I feel like it. Because I feel like with art, if, if I'm not fully committed to something, um, I, I, and, but if I don't want to scrap it, I'll just take a break from it and work on something else, which is why I made um, the Tony Kitte Repression. Because that's something I wanted to, I would be wanting to do since the start of 2021. So I finally got around to finishing that. Uh, in fact, that's the uh, Tony Kitte reference is the last thing I made in February. It's probably gonna be my, uh, well, since it's on artwork, it's probably not gonna be a part of the uh, art summary. I do know for the art summary for January, it's probably gonna be this album in May because it's, that's my personal favorite. And then for February, it'll be probably the Domino Cree Swap. Uh, it's probably my favorite character wise, honestly. I, I, I don't know. I just really like the way I pulled, I pulled off the hair and everything. So, yeah. That's it's really what's going on there. So, I'm uh, hoping you guys like this type of content versus um, when I just do full drawings, which uh, trust me, I will be doing full. I will be posting full drawings. And speaking of full drawings, uh, I was actually scrolling through Twitter today, and I got inspired to do some Dragon Ball art. And I wanted to redraw some stuff. So if you guys have any suggestions on what you want me to redraw, uh, put them down in the comments. Uh, if like if you have a specific image um, that you want me to redraw, like I don't know. Upload it to Imgur or Twitter or wherever, and then link uh, link that image so then I can see what you're see what you're talking about. Uh, please, if you're going to do that, please let me know the episode you got it from because that's that's just important for me because whenever I do a redraw, I want to specify what episode that redraw comes from, or at least that's what I want to do. That's what I want to start doing because now that I think about it, I don't think I did that for the Vegeta redraw. I don't think I did that for the Naruto redraw. Any of the Naruto redraws that I've done, I just like named them by the like the actual moments. Uh, the Ilfa Pain. Um, I'll kill you when Naruto said the Taku. Um, uh, if you ever hurt my sensei, I'm gonna kill you. That's episode one. Uh, for that, I mean, for that one, I don't think I would need a label of these. Anyone who's seen this series would know that's coming from episode one. I would not have to explain that to someone who's actually seen the series. Because it's like, it's like the start of Naruto's journey as a getting, and as a shinobi in general. Because after that is when Aruka decides to give him the headband. Which, that means Mizuki inadvertently helped Naruto to become a Genin because obviously if Naruto didn't learn the multi shadow Kontuchu and then literally clap um, musically all around uh, with his 1,000 Shadow Clones, then Ruko wouldn't have made him a Genin. And if that didn't happen, who knows what Naruto would have done. Um, knowing Naruto, he, he, still would have, he still would have tried to become a Genin, but um, by the time he became a Genin, he'd probably be on a team where every everyone's younger than him because he he's he he would he would be to I'm assuming he'd have to go to the county for like another year. It's like for example if you get held back in school. That's what I assume it would be like. And that would just be kind of awkward for Naruto. Like if I were Naruto that would be awkward for me. So I'm honestly glad that um, Mizuki got what he deserved when he manipulated Naruto uh, after him, he uh, failed the exam and everyone else passed. That that was a tough, that, that was a tough moment to see Naruto just on that swing all alone. But now he has plenty of friends, and uh, fortunately for Boruto, so he doesn't have to go through uh, that type of pain. However, for Naruto, that made him stronger. So, stronger uh, physically and like as a as a human. But enough of that. I will see you guys in the next video, which will likely be the Hatomi Kate reference sheet. If not, you guys will see. Peace out.